This is the Burray episode of the North Star Show, season seven, episode number 10. I'm your host, Bruce Krentz. Welcome back. Behind the camera, a guy who doesn't have a Christmas tree. He's got a Jetsmas tree. All Jets decorations on the tree over at uh, cameraman Paul's house. Uh, joining me, a couple guys that were down south this past weekend, Chase Miswagon, Keiston Saunders, both got your first goals. Fellas, uh, let's start with you, Chase. Tell us all about it. We weren't there to see it. Unfortunately, Paul was busy decorating his Jetsmas tree, so he couldn't tape it. Uh, how'd it go? How'd you get the first one? Um, Sean, Sean Yorski took it into the zone, uh, went around the net. Um, I was on the point, and he just passed it to me, and I just came to the middle and shot, and it went post in. Bomb. It, so. <laughs> yeah. All you saw was the arms go up, and you knew that yeah. uh, you guys were in, in pretty good shape. I love it. Uh, what was it, do you think, on the clock? 95, 98 miles an hour? 120, 120, 130, yeah, somewhere around there. Bro broke the 100 oh, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. Chara, here we come. Look out, there's a new sheriff in town. Uh, Keiston Saunders, feels like you've been lurking around this first goal for a long time this year. Finally got it. Uh, tell us about yours. Uh, Albert, we we're coming out of a breakout. Albert chipped, up, chipped it up to me, and I kind of chipped it around the other defense. Came, a, came on a two-on-one, and I just shot it and went in. Uh, looked the goalie off. Everybody thought you were going pass, and then Cheddar? Yeah. Is it what he says, or did it go in off his uh, ass? Didn't really see it. No. no. <laughs> Were you watching any of these games? <laughs> nah, I don't know. I don't remember a lot. So. Uh, you guys were down at the games, though. Uh, so Friday night, 9-3 uh, was the score. Tell us a little bit about Friday's game. Uh, we did good for, for a while, I guess, in the first period. We did pretty good until our second period is all fell apart, I guess. Yeah, third period was all right, I guess. A little bit better. That one was the Eastman game? Yep. And uh, Saturday, so that one was 9-3. On Saturday, 10-4, so a little bit similar, a bit better scoring. How about Saturday? How did things look? Um, I don't know, we played pretty good, I thought. We were skating, passing, playing as a team, and then, I don't know, things just didn't go our way. Couldn't score for a bit, so, yeah, I don't know. Didn't, didn't go that great. Uh, those two games, Coach Buchanan was out due to a little bit of a mix-up with the referees here in town. We'll call it a mix-up. We'll be yeah, kind yeah. to him. How did uh, Coach uh, Cody look on the bench in those couple of games? It's pretty good. I don't know. Didn't just felt like a good head coach to him. So <laughs> <laughs> no, no trouble. Didn't didn't notice it. Uh, you any thoughts? How was it having Cody in the uh, the big spot on those two? It was pretty good, I guess. Yeah, it's being good. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. Ins good inspirational speeches in between periods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Told you guys how it was. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Keiston Saunders, Chase Wagon. A couple guys that got their first goals down on the weekend. Hoping that we'll have lots more of those because we need some scoring to get out of this little, we'll call it a little slump. Yeah. We're just in a, a little funk here, but we're going to break out of that. Uh, James Garner once said he fell into a blue funk for all of the 70s, so 10 years. So hopefully this doesn't last nearly that long. Joining me on the show as well, we had you guys there. Uh, we went and checked in on the tutoring. Brandy Lee, the tutor for the North Stars. Pretty cool thing that the team does to uh, take you guys up. Maybe you guys don't think it's that cool because you got to go do some extra schoolwork. But uh, I, I think it's a fantastic thing. Uh, academics are so very important. Talk to the two guys from Flint Flon, Jordan Foe and Mitchell Reed. They're roomies this week. Sounds like they're getting along all right, but uh, JL's living with them. And I'm not sure how keen they are on that. <laughs> guys got to learn to clean up after himself. And uh, we talked to Coach James Buchanan right after this. Thanks for joining us. This is the North Star Show. with Coach Buchanan. Coach, you only got a chance to, to uh, be behind the bench for one of the games this past weekend. A uh, bit of a forgettable weekend, unfortunately. Uh, the losing streak continues. Coach Janai had the bench for the first two games. You missed uh, both of them. Not feeling well on Friday. Did you catch any of the Saturday game? Well, yeah, I caught uh, the Thrashers game there on Saturday, and there were some ups and downs. Uh, you know, it was nice to see some scoring happening there. Uh, but Five should be enough to win you a game, but when you give up more than that, well, that's the way it's going to go, unfortunately. But uh, the offense was there, and uh, that's a strong piece. I think as it sits now, we're sitting in ninth in goals four in the league, so that's nice. That's uh, 
actually better than we've been in a long time in terms of goals for, but uh, you know, you're not going to win many hockey games if you give up more than you score. So uh, that continues to be our struggles and that's what we're working on is being better defensively. So a couple of nice uh, moments we had. We just had uh, Keiston on and Chase Muswagen and one of the APs uh, managed to get their first goals of the weekend and getting some goals. So it looked like the scoring was thrown around a little bit. We're getting scoring from all over, just not enough of it. Yeah, well, it was Albert Sinclair. He added, uh, I think he added two this weekend, actually, and that was nice to see mm -hmm. for him making an impact as he just comes in his uh, second and third games with the team. So that's uh, good for him. But, yeah, we got we to gotta be better defensively. I mean, the goals will come when... Uh, we get our opportunities, we need to bury them, and I think we've been doing not a terrible job with that, but again, you need to, you have to play the game from your end out, and that has to be uh, your mindset, is playing defense first and, uh, and working from there. Southwest in town for a couple of games this coming weekend, what do you- Central Plains. Central Plains. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we're gonna beat them anyway. Uh, <laughs> Central Plains, uh, what's the message that you're giving the guys? What are we working on to, uh, to keep the goals down, the goals against down? Well, with our forwards, the, the focus on, uh, you know, the wall side forward not uh, losing his defenseman and the guy in front of the net making sure his head's on a swivel. Uh, we'll be working on some of that stuff and, uh, you know, battling throughout those corner-to-corner -corner drills uh, with your defense and your forwards down low supporting. Uh, that's got to be the outlook from here, um, being better in our end. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I've said it three times. I think uh, that's, that's the message. We've got to be better in our own end. Sure. Uh, talk us a little bit through, uh, you've, I think a surprise to me anyways, maybe it's not a surprise to the coaching staff, but this line of Valentino, Howard and Rambo seems to be having some success. Uh, did you see that coming or has this been a bit of a pleasant surprise for you? Well, they wouldn't have been put together if we didn't <laughs> see something in that group, but uh, no, they got a good combination, uh, speed and size uh, out there. So, I mean, you know, Rambo is going to fly around through everybody and uh, Sheldon's starting to use his size to his advantage a little bit more and he's opening up a lot of gaps for those two smaller guys there and... Uh, you know, with their speed and their scoring touch, they're putting them away. Yeah, no, it's a pleasant surprise, I guess. Nice to see them. Uh, any blues and golds heading into this weekend? What are we looking for? Well, the injuries are really, uh, you know, they've piled up on us, and it's really made things difficult for the past uh, almost month now. We've been playing real shorthanded and with some key forwards out of the lineup as well. So uh, we're hoping to have most of our hurt guys back this weekend. Uh, Albert Berard went down on Sunday's game with a concussion, so... He's going to be out for a little while, but uh, we're looking to hopefully have uh, Barron and uh, Mitch Reed and Jerome Linklater back this weekend. So that's hopefully gold is coming, well, blue and a gold, really. <laughs> yeah. The injuries have hurt us, but hopefully we're poised to bring some of those uh, bodies back into the lineup. So uh, otherwise, blues, blues, I'm not going to be negative. <laughs> Enough's enough. We, we had a 16 one. We said we wouldn't mention it. I had to slide it in. But uh, <laughs> we're looking for way better this weekend. Somebody move around in here. This is crazy. Uh, <laughs> that's it. This interview's over, Coach. We're looking forward to having you back behind the bench uh, this weekend, and we're looking forward to big things. Thanks for joining me. Anytime. This is a North Star Show Extra. We're outside of the TRCC and outside of the gym in the classroom where these guys should be spending a whole bunch of time. This is uh, something that we haven't covered before. Brandy Lee's joining me now. You're the, what, what, what do we call you, tutor, the leader? I was the tutor. tutor. Yeah, tutor? I'm the tutor. Oh, yep, yeah. yep. Uh, and what's, what's going on here? How do you get these knuckleheads in here every uh, Tuesday night before uh, practice? Well, I think it's a requirement, so um, I'm not entirely <laughs> sure what the consequences are, but they are required to show up and they're required to be passing all their classes in order to play. So this sort of keeps them on track and makes sure that they have a place to go to do some work and crack down on their classes. So they come here and just work on anything that they're sort of behind on, have to yep. get caught up on before the weekend. So you're a master of everything, like you help them with no, every subject? I, well, I try, I do my best, but I'm a math person, so I mostly help with math and like some of the science. Um, when they have English and social to work on, I do my best, but their job is to work independently, so getting it done is the priority. Yeah. The hot priority, yeah. and uh, you're a new teacher, so did they sucker you into this, or is this something that you uh, asked to be part of? Well, I'm a new teacher, so I don't make enough money, so they had to, you know. Get me here to do this. Drop, drop, drop yeah, me on this. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. get stink pay for, hang, for hanging out with these guys. Uh, fellas, what do you think of the tutoring stuff? Uh, Rambo, do you like this or is this just something you got to do? Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Highlight of the thing. Uh, Sheldon, what are you working on this time around? English. And uh, essay, what's the essay on? Uh, this novel. It's called Breathing Underwater. Okay. Knowing the title's a good start. Uh, who else we got around here? Uh, who wants to tell me what are you guys working on other than that coffee? Science. Okay. What's what's science? A little more, a little more, a little more uh, specific than that. 
What is it called? Your four? <laughs> <laughs> no ideas? Who? Uh, that's it? You don't know? You got no, anything for No clue. <laughs> Nothing? I just turned my back on the camera. Nice interview. Uh, last one, and then we'll get back to you guys. Jerome, what are you working on? Uh, math. Anything specific? Uh, quadratic equation? Not really. <laughs> 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 Something like that. Do we have any of the guys in here that stand out? Are there some that are always here, always on time, uh, eager to learn? Um, yeah, Jordan does pretty well, and uh, Brandon's always writing quizzes for me because he doesn't do them in class, right? <laughs> yeah, Braden as well. So, yeah, some of them are pretty enthusiastic. Others roll in late and or not at all, right? Yeah, yeah notab notable by his absence, Mikey Barron will allow. Uh, you know what? It's a good thing Coach isn't here or he'd be in big trouble. Okay, he is in the back row. Uh, <laughs> last one, uh, what do you guys think? How's, uh, how's the coach tutor help out a lot? Um, to be honest, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah helps out mm -hmm. in uh, pre-cal, but I think physics, physics is his jam. He's smart, <laughs> smarter than I thought he was. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what he's all about. He only, he only got honors with distinction for four years in a row, so that's, that's not really a big deal, though. That just, it's decent. Just pretty just average. Mm -hmm. just average. Yeah. Pr pretty all right. Top marks to the organization for putting this together and for helping you guys because, uh, I mean, most of you will make the NHL, but some of you are going to have to rely on your schooling. And so uh, spend as much time here as at the rink. Trust me, it's a good way to go. Brandy Lee, thanks for doing this. We appreciate it. Uh, thanks, you guys. Give her a big round of applause for helping you out. This is a North Star Show Extra. This is two on one. Joining me again is Jordan Foe. Had him on the last episode. My mom liked you so much in the intro. She said, get that kid back on. So we got you back again with you this time around. Mitchell Reed, a favorite of the show. Uh, you guys living together this week. We heard Mitchell's billets uh, kicked you out one week hiatus or where are they off to? Uh, well, I stay with Todd Rambo and he's a judge. So he's just doing some judge stuff, I guess. <laughs> he's busy judging. Yeah, he's judging, I guess. <laughs> so he's an internet troll. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> uh, how's it going so far, uh, having the new roomie? I don't know, pretty good, but you know, it's getting kind of annoying lately, but, you know. <laughs> what, uh, what do you guys spend your time doing? Lots of video games when you're not uh, doing push-ups, practicing for the stuff, or Netflix? What do you guys do? Yeah, we've been playing a lot of video games and a little Netflix, too. Yeah. Nice. What, uh, what, do you, what do you guys play? Uh, all we do is play Call of Duty all night. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was hoping for 2K or something like that, but we'll take Call of Duty. Uh, this is two on one. We're ganging up on a couple of Flin Flon guys. Meant to mention that off the start. Uh, and the show plays in Flin Flon, so little little shout out to the hometown. I'm going to start you off with the first question. Mitchell and I are going to uh, pick on Jordan a little bit here. Uh, favorite place to eat in Flin Flon? Definitely the Victoria Inn. It's really good food there. I love the French onion soup. Oh, yeah. I've never had that. Before. Give it, give it a shot. Uh, we'll give you this one too. Favorite place to eat? Uh, I don't know, probably just like Chicken Chef, Subway. <laughs> so I like Subway, yeah. Can't you throw a shout out to anything local? Mike's Ice and Burger, the Orange Toad. Yeah, the Mike's Ice and Burger is good, I guess, yeah. Good soup at Muggsy's, all right. We're, am I from Flin Flon or you guys? Uh, okay, <laughs> question for him? Uh, ha, favorite Netflix show? Definitely Stranger Things. I've been watching it a lot lately. Oh, yeah? How much Netflix is crushed in one day? Uh, probably four. <laughs> 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 Four in a day, are you on season two already? Yeah, season two. Nice, very good. Uh, favorite NHL player? Um, probably Drew Doughty. And because? Mm. I don't know, because he's Drew Doughty. Pretty good, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, good good pick. Uh, favorite moment as a North Star this year? Sorry? Favorite moment as a North Star this year? Oh, definitely not that loss last weekend, holy. Um, <laughs> I don't know, just being with the boys, it's a lot of fun. Probably, yeah. Bus trips and all that kind of stuff, yeah. I, I got to chip in with you. I did lots of trips uh, when I was a bit younger, and for me, that's always the favorite part of the trip. You like the bus stuff or more hanging around in the hotels before the game, all that? Oh, they're both pretty good, but probably the bus trips, yeah. Oh, I had a good one, too, and I just kind of forgot. Who's the uh, cleanest guy on the team? Not clean player out there, but just cleanest all around. Best personal hygiene. Oh, man, I don't even know. Help I me know. out. Who? It's definitely Braden Melstead. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely Braden. There's a woman trapped in his body. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it sort of starts with the hair and it just goes all the way down from there. Yeah, for sure. It's like it washes over him. <laughs> uh, what are you giving me for Christmas? Oh, I haven't put much thought into it. Maybe a new controller for your PlayStation or something. Oh, yeah, that's really thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> you, you throw it around a lot, so. 
<laughs> Beautiful. Uh, VR goggles, maybe? Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, that was, you led right into my last question. What, would it, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, you already asked me this last show, yeah. 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 Um, probably just more clothes and stuff. Maybe a new hockey stick or something. All right. If you, if you get a new stick, what is it? You got, a spread, got one in mind? Another trigger. Uh, rip, rip, yeah. No, rip card. <laughs> <laughs> CPM Be trigger, yeah. Better than the EK60 for sure. What do you want for Christmas? Uh, honestly, I just want to go home and see like, my family. Miss my dogs and like my parents, and I can't wait to see my grandma at Christmas. I haven't seen her in like five months, so yeah. Oh, that is a good answer. You got one last question? Uh, biggest pet peeve about JL, your other roommate. He's really dirty, he doesn't clean up much. Like, like much or at all? At all, really. <laughs> Basement's just always dirty, his room never clean. All right, that's two on one. JL, be better. Uh, two sons of Flint Flon, Jordan Foe and Mitchell Reed. Thanks, guys. That's two on one. This episode was just ducky. Number 10, little tribute to Dale Howarchuk and Pavel Burry from the start. We forgot the code again uh, two weeks in a row. We were on an eight-game streak, and then we kind of fell apart there a little bit. Shout out to the Manitoba game. So we've got a host tour coming up this weekend when a bunch of big wigs from Sport Manitoba and other places are coming to tour Thompson and see what we've got lined up for the games. If you're interested in more info on the games, www.manitobagames.ca is the place for all of that info. Coming here March 4th to 10th. I want to thank Coach James Buchanan for talking to us on this episode. A couple guys from Flint Flon, Jordan Foe and Mitchell Reed, roomies for a week on the two-on-one. And Chase Wagon and Keiston Saunders, a couple guys who got their first goals this past weekend. We're hoping they'll get a whole bunch more this weekend when we play Southwest. We've got uh, Central Plains. I'll get that right. You know who's playing Southwest? The Bantams are. Bantam Triple A's are here. The Wolves, they're playing Southwest. We're playing Central Plains, almost even with us in scoring. Goals for, goals against, a little different. But a uh, bit of a shootout this weekend. Come check the games out. Friday night and Saturday night, both of those go at 7.30. Uh, join us here every week for the North Star Show.